Here we are. Do, 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 do. I know there's six people in here somewhere. <laughs> Carrie Ann. Hey, Cam. Oh, thank you. I got my necklace on that Catsy made me in my earrings. Hey, Randy girl. Hi, Linda. Linda W. Hi, Janet. Hi, Sharon. I'm doing great. Hello, Sharon Gunter from Florida. I wish I was in Florida. <laughs> Hi, Doreen. Tammy, girl. I got your email, Randy. I just haven't had a chance to get back with you. Hello, Charlotte. Deanna. Uh, I know I just missed someone. Janet. Thank you so much, Janet. Hi, Margaret. Hello, Connie. Marianne Taylor. Hello. Hi, Michelle. Hey, Tammy. How's everybody doing today? All right, Lena. How you doing, sweetie? Hi, Darby. Michelle Gomez. Hello. Hey, Peterson. Aren't they gorgeous, Cam? I love those. Yes, thumbs up everyone. Hi, Tracy. Yeah, I slapped some makeup on today. <laughs> Hi, Midge. Hello, Sylvia. I have my sling on, but I took off the, the over-the-shoulder thing so everybody could see my beautiful necklace. Let me move this back a little bit. It really doesn't matter. See? My Binksy necklace. Oh, Peterson, I got the thing on. You don't understand. Hey, Tony, with these hot flashes. Oh, my God, the thing is wrapped around my neck, and I'm sweating, and I'm, it's choking me. <laughs> It's not going to hurt for it to be off from around my neck for a couple of hours. Hey, Katie. <laughs> Thank you, Lena. <laughs> you can watch. You can watch. I'll be careful. I will be careful. Oh, Peterson, come on, really? Thank you, Sylvia. <laughs> Hi, Barb Lee. Oh, you know what? I wanted to make an announcement when more people come in, but I have to go get my piece of paper um, because I got it written down. I'll be right back. You know I always forget something. Doesn't matter. It's always one thing. So let me go grab it. Okay, there we go. Hi, Julie. How are you? I'm like dying. I wish I could put my hair up. I really do because I'm like, 
I'm ready to just like chop it all off. I really am. I'm ready to chop it off. Hello, Helen Casey. Nice to see you. Hi, Pat. We're short 38 thumbs up, guys. Life in Bama. Howdy, howdy. I know my, my buddy Jeffrey Ross is at that, uh, that longest uh, yard sale, uh, whatever it is, that Pamela Blanchard is at. Hi, Cindy. <laughs> Linda. <laughs> hey, Lynn Hampton. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm trying to make room to at least. Hello, Chris, Krista Hager. Hello. All right, let me put some of the small stuff over here. There we go. Oh, my God, I'm sweating. Aw, thank you, Mary. Good to see ya. Aw, uh, thanks, Michelle. <laughs> you know, she can, but I just, her, you know what? She, her hands are so arthritic that it's too hard for her to like hold on to the hair and maneuver the hair tie and everything. So, you know, she was a hairdresser for like, oh my goodness, 40 some odd years. Yes, this was made for me from uh, by a friend. And look, I got earrings to match. Wait a minute. See? <laughs> Aren't they cute? Hi, Christine. Cricket, what's going on, girl? There, I'll put my hair back like that. Yeah, isn't that cute? That's why I wore my red shirt today, because I figured it would go. Thanks, butts. <laughs> hey, Sue Golombeski. Isn't it cute? I love it. I love it. Oh. I need a haircut so bad and a dye job. It's not even funny. Thanks, Cricket. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Could you imagine? I could just, I should have wore it. I should have wore it when I went out. Hey, Cheryl. What's up, girlfriend? <laughs> Hi, Barb JM. Oh, yes, yes. That puzzle was hilarious. So, 49 thumbs up and 86 people here. Hello, Cheryl Cornett from Birmingham, Alabama. Did you take part in the longest yard sale? I have it on. I just took off the thing that goes around my neck so everybody could see my necklace. Hi, Rebecca. <laughs> Linda, Linda, Linda. Hey, Dana, how are you, girl? <laughs> Oh, I am so thirsty today. I could like drink a lake. Do 
Nope. I has, I still have another, um, geez, two and a half weeks before I can start therapy. Okay, so let me put my my other thing back on. See, I put it on and then it covers up my necklace and you can't see it. Dang it. My hair's all stuck in it. Ugh. All right. It doesn't stay though. It sl it slides and goes underneath and sideways. <laughs> okay, so we have uh, I'm forty people short and my thumbs up. What's going on, guys? Thumbs ups are free. They're free. Help me out. Did you, Pat? Okay, so be honest with me. Did you did you not move your arm at all? Or did you like do stuff? Like do stuff. <laughs> be honest with me. Because I would be curious to know. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Both bi biceps reattached. What the hell did you do to yourself? Hi, Helen Melcher. How are you doing? Oh, telling you. Well, what I wanted to tell everyone is um, I'm actually going on a trip. Um, I know my girl Crafty Jackie is going to like kill me when she finds out because she wants me to meet up with her. They would holler at you. Yeah, see, I don't have to worry about that because nobody's really around. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, um, I, me and Crafty Jackie have been wanting to hook up, you know, but. With me having the surgery, and then she's going to be having hip surgery. Right, Peterson can yell at me. Yeah. Peterson can fill in for my family. <laughs> um, but I was invited um, by Scott at the old curiosity shop to come to Philadelphia in September and meet up with him, Vintage Vinny, and Tammy and her husband David from Texas, or <sighs> Vintage Uprising Texas. Oh, I will be very careful. No, I can't reach up at all. No, 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 no. No. Yes, um, I am Randy. I am. I'm taking a train because y'all know I won't, I won't, um, drive on the thruway. Oh, I absolutely, you know, I'm going to vlog. Heck yeah. So, um, I, I'm so excited. You guys have no idea. I am so excited. I talked to Scott on the phone the other night and I just cannot wait and actually, we're all staying in the same hotel, um, the same hotel as well. So that will be so much fun. Mary. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm so excited. So 
I'm trying, I'm, I'm going to be having some extra sales to try to make spending money. So what I'm going to be doing, oh, uh, I can't wait. I, I'm telling you, Linda, I, I just, I've been watching Scott for a really long time and I just love him to death. So this, this is going to be, this is going to be so much fun. But anyways, um, so I'm going to be having um, four weekly pop-up sales. Hi, Pat Hall. Um, who, Scott? Oh, he already told me on the phone. He already told me, Randy. <laughs> Hi, Virginia. I've never been on a train either, so this is going to be, it's going to be a very long ride, you know, like, like eight or nine, nine hours, I think. Oh, Scott's fine. Um, but I, I don't care. I cannot wait. So, um, starting, starting this coming Friday. So for the next four Fridays, I am going to do a pop-up sale. Um, but they're all going to be different. So um, on the 13th of August, I am going to be having a pop-up jewelry sale. On the 20th will be a linen sale. On the 27th is going to be a book sale. And on the 3rd is going to be a barware sale. Um, so unless I might, the dates are all going to be the same. The 13th, the 20th, the 27th, and the 3rd um, at 11 a.m. Eastern time. Um I may change up the subject matter of the sales. I haven't decided yet, but this is just a rough idea. But I'm definitely doing, I'm definitely doing jewelry and linens. Um, the other two things I'm not positive about yet, but definitely jewelry and linens. But I will, I will put out a little flyer to let everybody know. So, uh, anywho, yes, yep, this is in addition to my regular Saturday sales. The sales are going to be at 11 a.m. Eastern time because there's so many other sales. That's really the only time I could find where I hopefully won't run into other sales. You know what I'm saying? I try to be, you know, as respectful as I can. You know, I don't want to run into other people's sales, but sometimes it can't be helped. Yes, Eastern time. Yep. So, anywho. Um, all right. So, I guess we'll get started. So, for anybody who's new here and has never bought from one of my live sales, you will need to email me your YouTube name, your real name, if they're different, your mailing address with zip code, and your PayPal email address. So that way uh, you can participate in the sale and then I am able to send you an invoice which will include shipping for your items because shipping is not included in the prices. So I wanted to let everybody new know that. Um, what else? <laughs> Linda, you are so funny. You don't live far from me, do you, Linda? Don't you live in PA? <laughs> um, then again, I could be wrong. I can't remember everybody, but, you know. All right, so... Today, I have a variety of items. Um, I, have, I have some brooches today. I have um, 
what else do I have? I have a couple head vases. Um, I have some glass fruit. Oh, outside of Pittsburgh. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Um, yeah, no, I don't have any linens today because I'm going to do a linen sale. That's why I didn't um, include any linens today. So, um, yeah. So, let's get started. I've been talking for 20 minutes here. So, I'm going to start. Let me start with this because it's in my way. All right. So, I have this awesome mid-century modern, maybe 60s, 70s. I don't know. Mid-century is 50s and 60s. So, I guess it's really not mid-century, but it looks mid-century. This awesome chip and dip set, um, it's in perfect condition. I do not know who makes this because I was trying to find it and it seemed like there were only a few and it seemed like people were just guessing on who makes it. So I'm really not sure. But um, like I said, it is in perfect condition and I love, love, love the polka dot pattern. Uh, so this is going to be $16, number 39. $16, number 39. Hi, Dean Oliver. I could set this over here and get it out of my way. Oh, Zep. I didn't even see Zen come in. Hey, Zen, I got you. I got you for the dip set. Zen. Okay, where the heck is it? Number 39. How are you today, Zen? <laughs> All right, up next, I have um, a carnival glass flower frog. It has, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven holes. Now, it is not in perfect condition. It does have a big, like a sliver Missing out of there. You could see that. Okay. Um, but that seems to be the only issue. Is just that, that missing little piece. Um, other than that, it's in great condition. It's $12, number 11. $12, number 11 for the Carnival Glass Frog. Oh, it's got some flea bites here, too. There's some little flea bites. All right, let's set this over there. All right. I have the air on, and, I, and I'm, I'm getting a hot flash, so it feels like uh, the air is not even on right now. Oh. oh, coffee? Oh, my God. If I had coffee right now, I would be like... Oh. Woo-wee. All right. Oh, boy. Sorry, guys. Whew. All right. 
Uh, next, I have this beautiful, um, this is RS Germany or Prussia. Hang on a second. Let me take the sticker off. Yes. RS Germany. And it is this beautiful little toothpick holder. Fritzy! It's gorgeous. Oh, there's still some sticker on there I missed. Get over there. It is in perfect condition. I wish I was Grandma B, trust me, because I'm ready to just kill myself. I can't even take it anymore. I absolutely had a meltdown the other day. I had such a terrible one right after I took a shower and got dressed that I just, I broke down into tears. This gorgeous toothpick holder, RS Germany, is going to be $8, number seven. $8, number seven, for the RS Germany toothpick holder. Ah. Uh. This has to go over. Nope, I can't go over there. Oh, come on. Okay. Woo wee. All right, no takers for that. All right, next I have a gorgeous piece of um, crystal, handmade. It is this beautiful crystal swan, and it is in perfect condition. It still has the sticker on there, handmade crystal. This, oh, I forgot my ruler too. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot everything. Okie dokie. This swan is approximately eight inches tall. Eight inches tall it is. And it is just gorgeous. Uh, the swan is going to be $16, number 20. $16, number 20. Beautiful. Cheryl Hoskins, I believe. All right, Miss Cheryl, thank you, ma'am. Okay, oh, he's fine. How you doing, Nancy? Are you out of bed yet? <laughs> All right. Um, I have another toothpick holder, and this one is absolutely gorgeous. Um, this reminds me of Debbie Vitale because I know she loves stuff like this, but it also reminds me of my girl Cheryl. And it is this gorgeous, yes, those are my Binks earrings, Virginia, look. And the necklace. <laughs> the bear. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> but this is just gorgeous. And it has kind of a luster wear finish. Beautiful piece. Um, it is made in Germany. Hi, Dana. And it is $6, number six. 
$6, number six. It is. It's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Hey, Vaughn, what's going on, girl? Linda W. Okay. I think I'll wait for Peterson. I want to make sure. Okay. Got you, Linda. Linda W. Thank you, Linda. It's beautiful. You're really going to love it. All right. Next, I have um, a gorgeous Lefton Mary Planter. She is beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Look at her. Isn't she gorgeous? So, so pretty. And all of her little flowers are intact but one. One is missing a, a petal. <laughs> Um, I'll show you on the bottom. There is the Lefton stamp. And she is just beautiful. So the Mary Planter is $14, number three. $14, number three. And she is five inches long and six and a half inches tall. Linda. Okay, Linda Dickerhoff. I got you, girl. I got you. All right. Um, let's see. Okay, I have this is um an Avon item and I love it. Look at this, you guys. Isn't this gorgeous? I have to set it down so I can turn it around so you guys can see the other side. Hi, Gabby! And this is the kitty's back. And it is a candle. It's actually a candle. Um, it is made, um, it's made in Japan for Elizabeth Arden. That's what it says on the bottom here. Very pretty smell, like, you know, perfume from back in the day smell. Um, but... Let me show it to you this way. There you go. Now you can get the idea. So this beautiful uh, kitty candle is $12 and it's number 14. $12, number 14. Used to get facials in New York. Hi, Anita. How are you? Oh, okay, let me, hi, Anjo, I didn't see you come in, 14 goes to Lynn Vogel, oh, Elizabeth Arden, okay, got you, okay, I got you, Lynn, Thank you very much. All right. Um, let me see. All right. Let me do this. I'm going to get this out of the way. This is gorgeous, you guys. Um, this is a Lusterware lemon server. 
And it is made by Noritake. I will show you the back. This is the lemon server. Isn't this beautiful? And there is the Noritake mark on the back. This is absolutely gorgeous. Let's get it up close so you can see the flowers. I know, right? It's just gorgeous. But you know what? You could use this to put jewelry. You could put your jewelry on here or whatever, you know? But it's $10 and it is number nine. $10, number nine. And it's probably about five or six inches in diameter. Five and a half. We'll split the difference. <laughs> five and a half. Linda W. Okay, Miss Linda. I gotcha. Thank you again. Okay. Um, my next item is uh, Royal Wooster um, Porcelain Egg Coddler. Royal Wo Wooster. Am I saying that correctly, peeps? Hi, Pamela 13. Here is the mark on the bottom. You have one, Peterson? And it's in really great condition. Uh, fantastic condition. Uh, this is going to be $10, and it is number four. $10, number four for the Royal Wooster Egg Coddler. Wow, that is a mouthful. <laughs> All right. All righty. All right. Okay. Hi, Lisa. How you doing? Um, you, you cook an egg in it. You cook an egg in it. So apparently you put the egg inside of here and you put this whole thing in boiling water, I guess, and then you would lift it out by the loop on the top. Right. It's very cool. I'm doing good, Lisa. Thank you. I'm doing very good. Yeah. I you know, I've I've never tried to use one of these. Um but I wonder have you ever tried it, Peterson? Hi, less than ten dollars. Um, oh, the it was ten dollars and it was number four. Ten dollars, number four. You you've used it. So how does the egg come out, Peterson? Hi, Warren. Hi, Auntie Christy. Oh, you collect the botanic garden print. Oh, you eat it right out of the cup. Well, that makes it convenient. You don't mess up another dish. But does the egg come out like cooked perfectly? Because I hate, I hate um, snotty eggs. Just curious. Yeah, I don't like snotty eggs. Oh, you got it. Excellent. Excellent. You agree, Yvonne? <laughs> Depends how long you post you post it. You you poach it. 
Hey, Kathleen, welcome. Oh, you came over from Maria's channel. Oh, that's awesome. Maria is a sweetheart. I love her. Thanks for coming. Um, so I guess I see Mary Jo. Hi, Mary Jo. Bukowski for the egg coddler. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um, okay. Next, I have a gorgeous. You're such a salesperson. <laughs> oh, awesome, Anita. I'm glad you like it. Um, this is a beautiful set. If you, um, you like blue and white, I have this gorgeous blue and white creamer and sugar. Look how beautiful this is. This is the lid for the sugar bowl. And it is oval shaped. It's made by Pepper Tree Teaware. Fine porcelain. It is just gorgeous. Hi, Kathy. The overall like design, I absolutely love. Um, so the set is $12, number five. $12, number five. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I love it. Oh, I see, I see whoever Peterson tells me. <laughs> Linda, Linda Dickerhoff. Okay. Gotcha, Linda. It's gorgeous. All right, um, my next item, I did have in a sale previously and it didn't sell, um, but I thought I would give it another try. I originally bought this from, from George the Antique Nomad and it was hanging in my bathroom and I changed my bathroom, the color, and so now it doesn't go, so I'm letting it go. And it is this adorable, for those of you that like turtles, um, it is this gorgeous turtle thermometer. <laughs> right? Look how cute he is. And then he's got his little partner. Look how cute. Hi, Nathan. Oh, you guys are buffering? I wonder why. Hmm. Um, so this little guy has like a little mark on his cheek there. I have no idea what it is, but yeah. And then let me see. It's made by Miller Studios, 1981. He's got a little bit of paint loss on his head. But really, he's in fantastic condition. He really is in great shape. So uh, let me just give you the measurements. This little guy is like seven and a half inches tall. And the little baby one is four inches tall. So for the set... They are $14, number 22. $14, number 22 for the Chalkware Turtles. And they both have their hangers. So you're in good shape there. Buffering, Virginia? Hmm. 
No, not yet, Auntie Christy. Repeat the price for number 22. Uh, $14, number 22. $14, number 22. Oh, do you? Annabella Ferreira. Hello, Annabella. Oh, you were buffering? Okay. All good now? All right. Okay. Um, so let me just tell you about the vintage vanity set. Um, oh, thank you, Krista. Thank you so much. Good to see ya. Um, the vintage vanity set is absolutely stunning, um, but it is heavy. I weighed the whole set. There's like eight pieces. And um, East Coast buffering. My weather's beautiful here. Um, but anyways, we'll get to that when I do the offer up for it, okay? Um, anyways, all right. Um, but I am going to do, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do the glass fruit so I could get this box off of my table. Now, um, let me explain about the glass fruit. I'm doing it in three lots. One lot is all vegetables and the other two lots are fruit. One lot of fruit has four pieces. One lot of fruit has five pieces and the lot of vegetables is four pieces. So, let me take out lot number one. Hmm. Okay. So. Um, these are all glass fruit. This is the first lot of five pieces. So, let me find my, okay. So, for this lot, it's going to be $25. And you will get uh, the glass grapes. Now, let me just let you know that this, uh, this cluster of grapes is missing one of the leaves. It broke off here, and it would have been over here. So one of the leaves is missing. Okay? Then we have a yellow apple missing the stem. Then we have an orange which is in perfect condition. We have a large red apple, like that's a big apple. And this one is missing a leaf. And then we have a green apple. Um, Pat, I know you already found your green apple, but I don't know. So, you're going to get all five pieces, even though a few of them have a missing leaf or a stem. So, all five, I can't hold them all up at once. <laughs> okay? For $25. And... This lot is number 55. Number 55. Yes, Warren. Ed, 
actually, actually, um, I didn't realize exactly that there were two missing leaves and a missing stem. So I'm going to change the price to 20 for the five pieces, considering they have some missing parts. So if anyone is interested, it is number 55 for $20 for the five pieces. All right. I have to move these someplace. Let me pull this chair here so I can put this fruit over here. All right. No interest on those. So I will move on to something else. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm going to do one more regular item. And then we're going to do an offer up. So my next item is this gorgeous. Um, yes, I can, Warren. I absolutely can. Oh, the turtle chalkware. Okay. Um, do you happen to have her information? Or does anybody have Danny's information? If not, I could ask Alex. Yeah, I'll ask Alex. No worries. No worries. Okay, you got it there, Warren. Thank you. So, um, Danny likes turtles, I take it. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, I can do the veggies, the glass veggies, if you want. Hold on. Okay, so let me ask you guys. Hold on a second. Maybe what I'll do, I'll, I could sell the, um, the veggies as a lot, and then maybe the other ones I could just sell singly, if that's what you guys would rather do. Okay, this is the vegetable lot. There are four pieces for $20. You will get a green pepper. I'm not moving it. <laughs> okay, green pepper. An eggplant. These are all in perfect condition. A corn on the cob. When do you ever see corn on the cob? And a yellow pepper. Okay. So the four... The four pieces of vegetables are $20, and they are going to be number 66. Number 66 for the vegetables. Oh, I see Linda. Linda gets the veggies. Okay. Let me put those back in here. All right.
Okay. How do you guys want me to do the fruit? You're lagging, Carolyn. I'm sorry. Sell the fruit together. Okay, well, let me see. I, I tried to sell the fruit together. Hi, Kim. How are you? Um, all right, so... Some of the fruit are not in perfect condition. Um, I don't know if you were here, Leona. Um, two of the fruits are missing a leaf. And one is missing its stem. So let me do this lot. I have... Now, this, this bunch of grapes only has one leaf. But that's all it's supposed to have. Nothing, nothing is broken off. It was only made with one leaf. So there's the grapes. We have a yellow apple. We have a red apple. And let's do, uh, an orange. See, the thing is, is that I have more apples than other fruits, so it's kind of hard to mix them. So... I have three red apples, two yellow apples, and one green apple. So, I mean, that's why I was trying to do two, two lots of the fruit. I mean, even if I sold them for $5 each, that's what they work out to in a, in a lot. You know what I'm saying? They're five dollars each in a lot as well. So the one lot that had the broken ones was only twenty-five dollars for five pieces of fruit, or twenty dollars. So I don't know. Right, it's hard to compare apples to oranges. So, um, so all right, let's take a vote. Do we want to sell the fruit pieces singly? or in two lots. You agree, Katie? It really works out to be the same. You want the first lot, Leona, the five pieces? Now, now remember, like I said, three of them have damage. Um, this one is missing the stem. This one is missing a leaf. It only has one. Okay. All right. So, Leona gets the, the five-piece set for $20. Okay, so that was the orange, the grapes. Wait a minute, let me put my paper on top. The orange, the grapes, the yellow apple, the green apple, and the red apple. Yeah, I think that was it. Yeah, okay. So now the last lot, the last lot is four pieces. It is the grapes. 
a yellow apple, a very large red apple, and one more red apple. Now this apple, these marks are underneath the glass. They're inside the glass. I don't know what they are, but they don't come off because they're on the inside. So you will get all those four pieces for $20, and they are number 55. $20, number 55. Hi, Chad. See Linda Dickerhoff above. Hi, Nate. How are you, sweetie? Okay, I got you, Linda. Send them to Carolyn. All right, hold on there. Okay, I got that written down. Okay, so no takers on the three apples and the set of grapes. It is. But I have like three spots for each lot. So I just write the person's name down next to which lot they bought. All right, so nobody wants this last lot. For $20, three apples and some grapes. Okay, does anybody want an apple for $5? Grapes for $5. Oh, you want the lot? Jeffrey, I thought you were at the thing. <laughs> okay, Jeffrey, so you're going to get the grapes and the three apples. <laughs> Hi, Aaron. Oh, you're on the road? <laughs> okay. All right, so then this is Jeffrey's right here. All right. So let me just put this one. I need to. I'll just put this over here. I don't think they'll go anywhere on the chair. Okay. Thanks, Jeffrey. Are you finding treasures? All right. Next we have this gorgeous early American pressed glass vase. Um, this vase has no cracks, no chips. Um, it is in perfect condition. Are you really, Jeffrey? I am so jealous right now. You have no idea. Ugh. Uh, this is gorgeous, this vase. It is um, six and a quarter inches tall. Show you up close the pattern. Okay, so it is $12, number 49. $12, number 49. Auntie Christy, it's a shirt. Whoops. <laughs> it's just a shirt. But thank you. Yeah, that's the mailman. And then the next door neighbor. <laughs> okay, so twelve dollars number 49 if anybody is interested 
I don't have my curtains up yet because I'm waiting for them to come in the mail. I bought new curtains. So, for three days, 127 sales. Absolutely amazing. Wow. Yeah, that's what Pamela's doing. Pamela Blanchard. Hi, Claire. All right. Offer up time, everyone. Um, I, I, I'll tell you what, I would be like broker than broke if I went to that. Like, I would be like spending money that I didn't have. <laughs> All right. I have a gorgeous offer up item. You guys will remember this uh, from my thrift haul. And it is this gorgeous Viking frosted blue art glass vase. We are starting this at $15. And I will tell you the measurements. Uh, let's see. It is just about eight inches tall. And five inches wide. Yes, this is just amazing. It has the Viking stickered, stickered, <laughs> sticker on the bottom. And it is just gorgeous. $15 is the starting price. Krista Morgan is starting us out at $15. This is a beautiful, beautiful piece. If you figure what out, Jeffrey. Okay, uh, if there is no other interest on this gorgeous Viking vase, I'm going to start calling it for Krista. Oh, Instagram. Yeah, I still can't figure Instagram out. Oh, I see Margaret Albers for 20. Hi, Margaret. You're new, I think. Please be sure to send your information, okay? So in case you win this, I can send your invoice. Isn't it gorgeous? It really is gorgeous. I'm telling you. All right, we are at 20. Oh, okay, thank you, sweetheart. I appreciate it. All right, we are at $20. I'm going to start counting down. Uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. I know it's gorgeous, Nate. Five, four, three, two, one, sold. I'll wait for Peterson. Sold to Margaret Albers for $20. Congratulations, Margaret. This is a gorgeous piece. I almost kept it for my bathroom. 
<laughs> uh, and so, just so you know, it's number 51. Hi, Jackie. That's okay. Do what you got to do, hon. Okay, Margaret Albers. $20. It is gorgeous. It really is. Congratulations. All right. Okay. My next item is beautiful. For those of you that love um, Thomas Kincaid, I have a gorgeous um, night light. Uh, it is brand new in the box. I will plug it in and show you guys. I can't use it in my bathroom. I was pretty upset about that. Wait a minute. Hold on there. We're all wrapped around here. And I'm moving the camera all over the place. I got stuff wrapped around everywhere. Hold on there. All right. Isn't that gorgeous? What a beautiful night light. And this, you can turn it this way. It is just beautiful. I absolutely love it. Trying to remember how it was in here now. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> I think it's got to be that way in order to fit in here. But anywho... <laughs> I don't know. I can't get it back in here. I'll fix it later. Anyways, the Thomas Kincaid Nightlight is $8, and it's number 43. $8, number 43. Oh, I see a couple people on that one. Cheryl Hoskins for number 43. All right. Okay, uh, next up, I have a vintage piece. Um, I have this um, vintage rosary holder. Look how cute. So this little lady pops off of the base and in here is a rosary. And that's what it says on the bottom. For my daily rosary. And this rosary actually came in here and this is pretty old. Um, well, my aunt usually does, but she's on her way back to California for about two weeks to take care of some business back home. So I'll be doing it myself. Um, my daughter asked me if I wanted help. So if, if, if I need help, I'll, I'll call her. So this is the rosary that came with it. And it's, like I said, it's quite old. Um, it's a beautiful piece, and it is $12, number one. $12, number one. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, I think I will. You're right. You're absolutely right. Okay, so number one went to, 
Ragdoll Sales, I think. Yes, Jean. All right. Thank you, Jean. All right. Uh, my next item. This is an absolutely gorgeous set. That's all I can say. And it is very thick glass. It's just beautiful. We have this amazing. You're welcome. Thank you, Jean. This amazing creamer and open sugar set. And it is, let me show you the bottom on this one because the other one, hi, Julia. How you doing, honey? Absolutely beautiful this set is. It is in perfect condition. There are no cracks, no chips, no flea bites. It is just stunning. Um, and the set is going to be $12, number 15. $12, number 15. Look how thick the glass is. Oh, I didn't even see you in here, Jeannie. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. Hey, Buck, what's going on? Party ready, yeah. <laughs> I know, that's what I said, Midge. I mean, $12 for this set? That's a deal and a half. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. That's okay. I'll keep it. <laughs> no worries. It'll always have a home. <laughs> okay. Um, I have these two little figurines. Um, this one is definitely made in Japan. He is a little monk. He is so cute. He looks like he's um, singing and playing his little harp. He is made in Japan. Okay, Linda. Hope you feel better, sweetheart. So this little guy, hi, Christy, isn't it beautiful? Okay, this little guy is about four and three quarters inches tall. I know, right? So he's four and three quarter inches tall. But then I also have this little guy. He's a little monk as well, and he looks to be reading his Bible. Now, unfortunately, this little guy lost his head. <laughs> and somebody glued it back on actually pretty well, I have to say. Because I did not notice it until I took him out for the sale. But um, I just thought these would look really cute. Um, you could put them out at uh, Christmas time or whatever. I just thought they were so adorable. This one is not marked, the taller one. And he is six inches tall. So you get the pair for $12, number two. $12, number two. For the little monks. <laughs> this, look at his face. Isn't he adorable? <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so cute. I love them. I love them. 
Oh, I see Jean for number two. Thank you, Jean. Hi, Jane. How are you? How are you feeling? All right. Next I have a set of false craft tea rose candle holders. We have the pretty blue flower on one side and then on the other side is the pink flower. This is one of false craft's most popular patterns. Um, and as I said, it is a set of two, and they are in perfect condition, no cracks, no chips, and they are five inches tall, and you would get the set of these for $12, number 57. $12, number 57. Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoopsie. Uh-oh, Lynn Fogel for number 57. Thank you, Lynn. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Next up, I have, hi, Stacy. how are you? I have a set of hand-blown glass, obviously, hand-blown glass candy. Now, there are... They're taped closed. Hang on, guys. Let me just get my little um, my little cutter so I can open it up and show you. Because the plastic covering is yellow and it's very hard to see what they look like. Okay, there we go. All right, so these are really, really pretty. And I will try to show you all six or all nine. I or, gee whiz, all 12. So this is the first package. I knew it. It didn't break though, so we're good. <laughs> and then this is the second package. Here's one. I'm just going to try and show it because to take out one at a time is going to take me all day. Hopefully they don't fall out. And that's the second package. Okay, so you got this one and this one. Now these were made to be Christmas ornaments, but you could absolutely cut the strings off and put these in a beautiful um, bowl um, on display at Christmas time or any time for that matter. So you will get all 12 pieces of hand blown candy and they are $16 number 42. $16 number 42.
All right, let me. <laughs> Number 42 goes to Mr. Jeffrey Ross. Thank you, Jeffrey. All right. Okay. Um, next I have a set of four high C little, I guess a uh, Cheryl, did you say these were nut dishes? I think that's what she said. These are uh, pink depression, high C little nut dishes. And as I said, there's a set of four, and they are all in perfect condition. Perfect condition. Individual nut dishes. Okay. I do retain some information sometimes. <laughs> um, so for the set of four, they are $14, and they are number 38. $14, number 38. Hi, see, yes. They are gorgeous. There's the little diamond on the bottom. CRS in remission. Yes, yeah, sometimes it's in remission. <laughs> oh, I see Jane Newhouse. I think. Let me know there, uh. Yep, Jane Newhouse. Thank you, Jane. These are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Hi, Binksy. Hi. What's up, buddy? He's yawning. <laughs> okay. Uh, next, I have a set of uh, coasters uh, for in your kitchen. It's this set of uh, four. Yes, four coasters. They are um, sh uh, chef pattern. Let me take them out of the box. These are brand new in the box. If I could get them out. They don't want to come out. Come on, what's the problem? Okay, I can't get them out. But anyways, there's four of them. I don't know if there are different pictures on them or not because I can't get them out. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But these are the coasters. And they are... Where's my thing? $8, number 41. $8, number 41. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Don't. Don't be climbing on the table with all the glass there, dude. Okay, no takers on the coasters. So let me put these in. I don't know. I'll just put them there. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi. What's up? Hi, baby boy. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me see. Okay. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous item, everyone. And it is this amazing cattail. <laughs> oh, I see Darby Deb for number 41. <laughs> I got you, Deb. Okay, buddy, you got to move now because I got to have my paper. 
Oh, dear. All right, Darby Deb. Thank you, Deb. All right. All right, the next item I have is this beautiful candle holder. This is absolutely stunning. I will take out the candle so I can show you. <laughs> the number is no sale. <laughs> Isn't this absolutely gorgeous? Oh my word. And it even comes with the candle. This gorgeous candle holder is $13, number 19. $13 number 19. Oh, Cheryl. That was popular. That was popular. Wow. Cool. Popular item. Cheryl Hoskins gets that. Thank goodness it's far enough down on my sheet that he doesn't have to move. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, are there any spoon collectors out there? Any spoon for your bedroom? That's going to look gorgeous. It is such a beautiful piece. And it's like there's no cracks or chips or anything. No spoon collectors out there? Well, I have a bunch, a bag full of collector spoons. These are from different places. We have one from, this one is a bicentennial spoon, 1776 to 1976. Hi, Pam. Then we have a spoon from, yeah. This is a sugar spoon. And it is from St. Louis, Missouri. Then we have a spoon from, from Marineland in Canada. We have one from Nova Scotia, Yarmouth. Yarmouth, Nova Scotia. I don't have any Bakelite spoons. Then we have one from Colorado. We have one from Tijuana, Mexico. Another one from Colorado. We have one from uh, Georgia, Georgia Peach.
And then we have one from Disneyland. And then we have this one is from Greenfield Village. Greenfield Village. And the last one, uh, I don't know, I can't, it's just fruit. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's 11 spoons all together in here. So you would get all 11 spoons for $12, number 58. $12, number 58 for all 11 spoons. All righty. Okay. I am going to do a couple brooches. So we're going to start with these two. Okay. First, we have this one. This is gorgeous. Okay, so we're not going to start with this one because the clasp will not stay closed for some reason. What do you do to fix a pin if the or a brooch if the clasp doesn't want to stay closed? Binks, come on! Yeah, I know. Lay down and act all innocent and look at me with those eyes. This is a gorgeous brooch. But this little piece here that you turn down, uh, it, it doesn't stay closed. So unfortunately, I'm not going to sell this one. Gently bend the closer closer. It's, well, it's loose. Like the actual, the actual piece is loose. Oh, pinch the two sides together. Okay. Well, as long as it can be fixed, if someone knows how to fix it, then I'll still sell it because it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. It is just beautiful. And I can tell you, Binks, he's grabbing my hands. Can you see him grabbing my hands with his paws? He's ridiculous. You are ridiculous, sir. This brooch is just about three inches long. Um, it is just gorgeous. So this one is $15, number 33, $15, number 33, and it's, there's no, um, no stones missing or anything. It's gorgeous. All right, and my next brooch is this one. And it is this gorgeous, look at this one, you guys. Wow, that is definitely a statement brooch. <laughs> he does love me, he does. He absolutely does. Hi, Teresa. Um, this is a gorgeous brooch. 
this is the back. Let me show you this way. There's no, um, no signature or anything on it, but it is beautiful. And it, yeah, it's an emerald green. It's just gorgeous. It is two and a half inches tall and about an inch and three quarters wide. Um, yeah, it's, it is beautiful. It really is. Um, this one is $18 and it is number 32. $18 number 32. Oh, Margaret. Looks like I think Margaret. All right, let's put that over there. Margaret Albers for number 32. Binksy, I need my paper, buddy. Thank you, Margaret. All right, I might as well just do the other two while I'm at it. Okay, my third one is this beautiful bunch of grapes. I just think this is so pretty. Now, I just realized that it's missing a stone up there, unfortunately. Um, yeah, isn't it beautiful? Yeah, it's missing a stone right here. But it is still a gorgeous, gorgeous um, brooch. This is the back. And this one measures two inches tall. And it is $15, number 34. $15, number 34. Okay, and my last one is this one. This one is also beautiful. Uh, this one is in perfect condition. And all of the stones are prong set. And also they were, were these prong set? Yeah, all the ones in this one are also prong set. Um, but this one is uh, like a ruby red magenta and like a light purple colors. This is the back. And this one measures two and a half inches tall. And it is $16, number 35. $16, number 35. Hi, Effie! How you doing? Oh, book. <laughs> book, I see for that one. Okay, book, you got it. Number 35. Thank you, book. All right. It is time for an offer up, everyone. Yes, it is. And um, this is going to start at $15. So 
So if you guys want a refresh or anything, go right ahead. I'm going to get a sip of my pop. Uh-oh, I'm empty. So this is the item. This is a gorgeous Balik vase. Um, it is 10 inches tall. And it is in perfect condition. There are no chips. Paula! No cracks. And here is the bottom. You can see it says Balik. $15 is the starting offer on this gorgeous uh, vase. Absolutely stunning uh, vase from Balik, Ireland. I see Lynn at 15. Isn't it gorgeous, Jan? It really is beautiful. Such a pretty piece. I love the little shamrock on there. Hello, Sally. Aw, thank you. Look it, I have a piece from Balik. It is gorgeous. Could you see this with some pink roses or something in it? I mean, absolutely stunning. It's just gorgeous. Hi, Nancy. All right, if there's no other interest, I am going to start counting it down. Uh, we have an offer of $15, uh, and I can't, oh, oh, here goes Cheryl. Cheryl is at 20 Lynn is at 22. I'm going to put this down because I don't want to drop it. Cheryl is at 30. Yeah, what a gorgeous piece that is. I'm telling you. Stacy, the high offer is 22, sweetie. Or, I mean, 22 is 30. <laughs> yeah, I'll be all right. Oh, it's getting kind of dark here. I bet you it's going to storm and windy as well. Okay, we have Lynn at 32. I'm really lagging on my phone. Holy cow. $40 for Cheryl. You know I'll be bubble wrapping the hell out of that vase. Because, yeah, just gorgeous. Okay, Lynn is out. So I'm going to start counting it down for Cheryl. Uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, sold. We will wait for... <laughs> we will wait for Peterson.
Oh, thanks, Gabby. <laughs> Sold to Cheryl for 40 buckaroonies. Cheryl, that was number 53, just for your record. <laughs> $40 to Cheryl. Congratulations. It is a beauty. All right. My next item is a daisy and button pattern top hat. Um, it has no cracks, no chips. <laughs> it's an olive green. This is a big one. This is a much bigger one than you normally see. Uh, this one is three and a half inches tall. And it's four and a half inches wide. Um, and uh, I don't have a tag on here. I don't know what I did with it. Hold on, guys. I don't know. Is anybody interested in this? If you are, then I'll give a price. Because I didn't have... This was... I don't know how this ended up on the table. Uh, but it did. <laughs> so, if anyone's interested, let me know and I'll shoot you a price. If not, we'll let it go. Because, like I said, it wasn't really supposed to be in the sale. <laughs> it was an oops. All right. No interest in that one. Yeah, Binks did it. <laughs> yes, he did. Okay. So, now I have a gorgeous... I have a gorgeous set of depression glass candle holders. These are just beautiful. Let me show, look at the pattern on these. These are elegant depression glass. And they are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I mean, this glass is crystal clear crystal clear aren't they gorgeous katie they're both in mint condition like there are no cracks no chips no flea bites nothing they're perfect and they are four inches tall and the base is four inches in diameter so for the set of these, they're $14 and they are number 47. $14, number 47. Ah, uh, where am I going to put them? I don't know. Um, over here. Okay, who do we have? Polly. Okay, Paula. I got you. Thank you, love. Thank you very much. All right. For you Tupperware lovers, I have an amazing set for you guys. Oh, yes. Look at this vintage Tupperware condiment set with the spoons. Oh, yes, indeed. This is in fabulous condition. Fabulous condition. Yes. Has all its lids. Yes. Absolutely fabulous condition. With the spoons, it is $12, number 48. $12, number 
Oof. That was popular. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I love vintage Tupperware. I can't believe that I didn't keep that. Uh, Effie. Okay, Effie, you got it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, let me see here. I need to maybe do, all right, let's do this. Hold on. Let me do this next. All right. So, y'all heard of Pimpernel, okay? I have a set of Pimpernel still in the boxes, excellent condition, placemats, and matching coasters. So, let me show you. Let me take my sticker off here. So, this is the box with the coasters. And this is the pattern. It still comes with the care instructions and all the info. And this is the pattern of both the coasters and the placemats. Tell me that is not beautiful. Cork back. Okay, those are the coasters. And there are six coasters. And then... This is the box of placemats. And I'll just show you one placemat. And these are the beautiful placemats. Still have the sticker on the back. These are in like excellent condition excellent condition um the placemats are uh 12 12 by almost nine okay 12 by nine and so you will get Four placemats, four placemats, and the six matching coasters for $25, number 50. $25, number 50 for, um, for the set. All right, so no takers on those. Uh, okay. All right, my next item is a home ceramic piece. It is from 1978, and it was made by M.S., and it is this mushroom boot planter. <laughs> It is glazed inside, and it is just adorable. <laughs> Decent size. It is about six and a half inches long, and almost three and a half inches tall. I think it is absolutely adorable. It's $12, number 21. $12, number 21. <laughs> okay. Uh, hmm. Oh, Zen. Oh, 
Okay, Zen, number 21. Thank you. All right. Uh, let me see. Okay. Next I have, I got to move some stuff, guys. So pardon me while I shift around stuff so that I can have some room here. out loud. Really? Okay. Kind of hard to do with one arm, guys, so just bear with me. Ugh, that's part of the reason it takes me so long because I can't do what I need to do. Oh darn, I shouldn't put this stuff on top of here. Binks, really? Can you move please? You're right in the middle of the table where I could be putting stuff. You are not helping matters. You're really not. And neither is this. Okay. All right, I'm getting there, guys. I'm getting there. That's the best I could do for now. All right. Banks, you got to get down. Come on, get down. No, get down. Get down. He doesn't listen well, can you tell? All right. Sorry, guys. All right. Um, next, I have a... <laughs> this is a cat wall climber. And um, he did have his ear glued back on but I did try to touch it up with some paint so that it wasn't as noticeable um but he is really really cool and um let me measure him hi Binks hi you're just being a pita today aren't you he is about almost 11 inches long <laughs> what a cat yes it is old um it's not marked but i'm pretty sure it's probably japan but i could be wrong i don't know but um look at his face look how cute he is so this guy is going to be $16, number 59. 
$16, number 59. Yes, a PETA, pain in the ass. <laughs> PETA for short. <laughs> $16, number 59. <laughs> All right. Come on. All right. I think I see Jeffrey Ross. Yes. Yep. All right, Jeffrey. Yes, he does. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me see here. All right, I have a beautiful, like a forest green, and then it has the opalescent edging. Very pretty. It's kind of like, um, it's the shape of a banana boat, but I do not know if that's what it's for. Um, I think it's kind of small. For a banana boat, like you could probably fit three bananas in there. It measures um, about eight and three quarter inches um, long and four and a half inches wide. Uh, I'm not sure if this is Northwood or not. But, anywho, uh, there's no cracks, no chips. It's $14, number 10. $14, number 10. No, it doesn't glow. Does not glow. Okay. All right, moving on. I have a piece of Talavera pottery, uh, which I couldn't believe that I even found. And I can't even believe I'm selling, but I am. <laughs> um, I believe that this is a spoon rest. Um, there is the Talavera Mexico on the bottom. Now, as you can see, it does have a little chippy there. Okay. And it has another, another one right there. But look at this. Yeah, I know it was getting really windy, Cricket, and then it's starting to look dark. So I kind of figured something was heading this way. So... But yeah, it is, uh, it's beautiful. And it is, uh, let's see, let me measure this. It's seven and a half inches long and four and a half inches wide. And it's so colorful, I just love it. So it is $14, number 60. $14, number 60. 60. $14. Thanks. Can you please get off my paper? OMG. Okay, no takers on that one. How about this piece? This is a uh, America 
American Bisque. This is an American Bisque piece. And it is this awesome splattered gold effect planter. It is a beautiful green color on the inside. No cracks, no chips. It's got those very cool mid-century modern lines to it, right? Here is the stamp on the bottom. It's American Bisque. It took me a while to figure it out because it's like blurred. But it's, it's a beautiful piece. So I'm measuring from point to point. It's eight and a half inches long. And it is three and a half inches wide. Actually, let's do it this way. The actual planting area is six and a half inches long. And then, of course, three and a half inches wide. So this piece is $12, number 40. $12, number 40. I have to plug in my phone. Gotta plug in the phone. Sorry, guys. Ugh. There. All right, no takers on that one. Okay, next is a gorgeous hand-painted vanity tray this is beautiful it is signed you can see right um above my fingers the signature uh this is the back and it has like uh hints of light blue and purple on the edges. I don't know if you could see that or not. And it is, this is beautiful. And it measures 11 inches long. And it is six and a half inches wide. And this is $16, number 12. $16, number 12. No, stop it. <laughs> All right, no takers on that one. Okay, how about a Bristol vase? This is, it's like a, it's a blue gray color. And it is so, so pretty. Uh, this vase is, Seven and a half inches tall. Oh, Rashida. Rashida Red. You got it, Rashida. I've seen you in other sales. Um, could you just please make sure to send me your information? You think it might glow? I, I'll have to get my flashlight. I didn't bring my flashlight out. Okay, so the dresser tray is going to Rashida. Thank you. Let me grab my flashlight and we'll see if it glows, if I can get up. My fat ass. Hi, Sophie. <laughs> 
Sophie's in my in my uh, eBay room sleeping on a stack of boxes that just came in the mail. No, no glow on that, guys. No glow. Darn it. But anyways, so uh, you could see the the ponto mark on the bottom. Yeah, I know. That's all right. Um, so this vase is uh, $14 and it's number 18. $14, number 18 for the Bristol vase. Hello, Elizabeth. How are you? Oh, Margaret. Margaret Albers. Okay. You got it. Put it over here. Okay. Thank you very, very much. All right. So this sold, so I could put this over here somewhere. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Uh, nope, I guess I'm just going to leave it right there. All right. So. Next I have, I have a gorgeous vase, you guys. It's, um, it's purple. It is hand-blown. There is the ponto mark on the bottom. And look at this vase. Isn't that beautiful? We have somebody new. Hi, Christina. Welcome. Thank you for coming. Christina, um, since you're new, um, you will, if you want to um, try to win something, um, you'll need to uh, email me your YouTube name and your real name if they're different. Your mailing address with the zip code and your PayPal email address. Because that is how I will send you an invoice for anything that you purchase. But it's nice to have you. Thank you. Yeah, this is absolutely gorgeous. Now, this mark... This mark right here is in the glass. So that was that was done, I think. Either it's in the glass or it's inside. Hi, Luann. A lot of great people here, and we usually have a lot of fun. Um, it does have some residue on the inside from flowers. So it was used. So that might be what that mark is. Um, this vase is... Let's put that the right way. It's nine inches tall and it is $15 number eight. $15 number eight. Ah. All right, hold on there, hold on there that over there. Isn't it pretty? I know it's not blue, but this is, this is blue. Look at this gorgeous cobalt blue cut to clear decanter minus the stopper. This is absolutely stunning. Um, I will show you the bottom. Look at that. Show it to you up close. Absolutely gorgeous. It is eight inches tall. 
and it is just a beautiful, beautiful piece. It is $16, number 13. $16, number 13. Um, it could be. It could be. I knew Paula was going to love this. Yeah, it's gorgeous. No cracks, no chips or anything. I just wish that it had a stopper. But you could always use it as a vase. So, all right. So that one goes to Paula. All right. Thank you, Miss Paula. Okay. It is time for one more regular item and then an offer up. I have a lot of items still, guys. So this is not good trying to hurry up and it's just hard when I can only use one arm. Okay. So, uh, my next item, I actually have two of. Um, so, whoever the first person is to put the number in can choose whether they want just one or both. And it is a set of Royal Copley Head Vases Wall Pockets. So it is a head vase and it is a wall pocket. And as you could see, someone had styrofoam in there and had like flowers or something coming out of these. Um, they are both in excellent condition no issues at all except some crazing you can see the crazing maybe on the back um but like i said they are in fantastic condition other than the crazing and they are both exactly alike so uh, these are going to be, which one has my tag? Here's the other one. I love crazing. I love crazing. All right, so where did I put this dang tag? Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, so these are $25, and they are number 16. $25, number 16, for the wall pocket lady head vases. This one has a little bit of scratching right there, which I could probably get off with a magic eraser. I did just notice that. That should, that should come off without a problem. Uh... Okay, Rashida, did you want one or did you want both? They're $25 a piece. You can have one or both. Both. Okay, you got it. You got it. Yeah, these are absolutely stunning. They're, you know what? They're very large. I forgot to tell you how tall it is. It is, just so that you know, it's eight and a half inches tall. So, yeah, eight and a half inches tall they are. They're gorgeous. Just gorgeous. All right, let me move these over here. And put this over here and these over here. All right. Okay. All right, guys. Um, I am going to do this item here. And then I'm going to do an offer up. I keep saying that. 
Yeah, he's he's a mess. I really need to take him to a person that can fix him for me, a clock person, uh, because I love it. I love that clock, and I really would hate to not have it, you know? All right, that's enough. Go clean yourself over there. Okay, I have this gorgeous clear glass milk pitcher, and it is in fantastic condition. Fantastic condition. There's no, uh, no chips, nothing. It's just gorgeous. Um, let me show you the design. Isn't that beautiful? Um, this picture is six inches tall and four and a quarter in diameter. Uh, he's about, I would have to say he's going on four, three or four. I can't remember exactly. Um, it's it, What's really cool is it's got this bubble. See that little bubble? Isn't that cool? I know you guys can see the number. <laughs> um, this is going to be $12, number 44. $12, number 44. Yeah, it's neat, isn't it? It's really cool. So I thought this was a great piece. Oh, Deanne. Hi, Deanne. All right, I got you for that one. Number 44 goes to Deanne Campbell. Okay. Let me write you down. Yeah, that's a pretty picture. Thank you, Deanne. Okay, uh, let me see here. All right. Oh my goodness. Okay, so guys, um, I'm trying to figure out how to show you this amazing, this amazing vanity set. Now, let me see. It is, hold on. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight. It is eight pieces total. So it comes with. Oh, I'm sorry, Deanne. You just say four ho hos. <laughs> well. What I was thinking of doing is just taking the camera off the tripod and just maybe bringing it over there so you could see it. Or I'll just bring piece by piece over and show you that way. That's what I'll do. All right, so let me just do piece by piece. Now, let me just tell you that in, in total, all eight... Where did the $4.99 come from? Who gave me $4.99 Super Chat? Pat Robinson. Thank you, Pat. I'm not used to getting those very often. Thank you so much. Aw, how nice. So this weighs all together. 17 pounds, 17 pounds. So keep that in mind. Now, if you live near me in, you know, in New York State, it shouldn't be too, too terrible. But yes, um, even if I were to split it up, actually, actually, Yeah, I, even if I even if I sent it in a flat rate box, in a couple flat rate boxes, it's still gonna cost like thirty dollars in a flat rate box. So, 
if I fit it all into one box, it's probably cheaper than trying to do a flat rate box. But let me show it to you. Aw, thank you, Virginia, <laughs> towards my trip. Yay! Um, I will show it to you, and, and just keep in mind that I am starting this AP set uh, at $35. $35 is the starting price for this set. All right, so let me bring the pieces over, and I will show you. All right. So, first we're going to start with these pieces. All right. So, it comes with this amazing jewelry box. This is the top. Let me show you the inside. This pops out and it is like velvet or whatever on the inside. And this is the inside. Okay. And then this just sits right on the top like that. Okay. Then we have this gorgeous, um, I guess a powder, a powder jar. This is the lid. And this is the jar, or the jar, you know, the glass. Okay, so that's piece number two. Then we have a perfume bottle. got to unscrew. I don't think it's meant to unscrew. I think it's just, a, you know, like a design piece. It's got a rose on there. Then we have a mirror, the hand mirror. The brush, the comb, now this is the, this is the tray, it does need to be either soldered down or glued because it has come undone on the end pieces. See what I mean? It needs to be soldered back into place or glued with like E6000, okay? And then the last piece which is amazing in itself, is this clock. And it works. I will plug it in and show you. This is what the back looks like. 
I, and it stands. I will plug it in for you and show you if I can get the plug over here. <laughs> Let me see, guys. Okay, so you could see the clock is working. Oh, it would probably all fit in a, a 15 by 12 by 10 box. Um, so that is the whole set. So... Whoops, sorry about that. So, yes, so we're starting at $35 for this beautiful, beautiful set. It is, like, amazing. It really, really is. When I bought it, I really wasn't thinking about the heaviness of it when I first bought it. I just saw it and I just fell in love with it. I, I just couldn't believe how beautiful it was. So I bought it not even thinking about the weight, you know. Ugh. I dropped the comb. But imagine that though. All the teeth and everything are there. <laughs> so that's awesome. So... Yeah, I saw this and I was like, oh my goodness, I have to have it. It is amazing. I don't know why I'm not keeping it, but because I have enough. <laughs> I have enough. So don't mind me. I'm just putting all these pieces over here while you guys are offering i'm gonna grab some more to drink because i am really thirsty today just i don't have any of that left And I know I'm going over today. It's already 5.39. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Look what I did. I just tried to crack open ice that wasn't frozen, and it just went all over the floor. That's great. Just great. Oh, well. I'll wipe it up after the sale. <laughs> all right, sorry guys, I'm back. I have water all down my shirt. Okay, high offer of a clean up in aisle three, yes. <laughs> I won't. Cats will lick it up. All right. I won't. Hi, Stephanie, how are you? Okay, so the high offer is at $85. All right, so I'm going to start counting down, everyone. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four. Uh oh. Paul was at 95 after she said she was out. <laughs> we are at 95, Elizabeth. Did you want to count her? Doll hairs, yes. Mary McClenning is at 97. Elizabeth is at 100. <laughs> Paula. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're fickle? Yeah. Oh, now she's out. She's out again. Okay. Polly is out. So, we are at Elizabeth. Oh, no. Mary is at 102. <laughs> Oh, Paula, you crack me up. <laughs> okay, we're at 102. Oh, Elizabeth is at 105. All right. Okay, so let me bring over some more items here. Gino? What's up, buddy? How's it going? I missed your live last night. Elizabeth is at 110. I have water in my sling. <laughs> Listen to Peterson. Offer you like you mean it. You're too funny. All right, this is going to go here. This is going to go here. This sold. I know, isn't it amazing? I c you should have saw my face, Virginia. When I walked up and I saw that set sitting on the table, I was like, oh my goodness. I have to have that. I, I just, I had to have it. No, he didn't. <laughs> oh, yes, you did. Hell no, Gino. I'm never getting married again. Three times was enough for me, dude. <laughs> I'm done. But thank you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> hi, hi, Lorraine. How are you, honey? Right, Virginia? Yeah, I'm. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> oh, you wanted to be number four? <laughs> no, you really don't. <laughs> I'm bitter. <laughs> All right. So we are at $125. I am going to start counting down again. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, <laughs> 4, Three, two, one, sold. All right, we're waiting for um, Peterson to let me know. Uh oh, Elizabeth said, ouch. So, oh, Mary. Mary McClenning for 127. What's going on, Lorraine? Congratulations, Mary. Oh, my goodness. $127. To Mary. Congrats. All right. So, um, just give me one sec, guys, because I got them. I'm trying to put the stuff that sold so that everything doesn't get mixed up. And I'm having a really hard time 
trying to get things situated. All right. Just so I have a little bit of room. All right. Um, okay, this sold as well. So that can go over here. This. This. All right. All right. Okay. Um, my next item, I've never seen anything like this, and I just think this is the coolest thing ever. Look at this, you guys. This is a toothbrush holder. A toothbrush holder. Look it. This is the lid, and you could put four toothbrushes. Right? Is that not cool? How cool is that? And then, you know, it catches the excess water down inside. I just think that is so stinking cool. It's just awesome. Um, and it measures... It measures five and a quarter inches tall. Hi, Uncle Andy. Five and a quarter inches tall by four and a quarter inches uh, long this way. What an awesome piece that is. Um, it is tw uh, $10, number 24. $10, number 24. I just was like, wow, how cool is that? Oh, Virginia. <laughs> okay, Miss Virginia. You got it. Hold on there, Bubble Louie. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Um, I don't know, Dean. I have no idea. Do they sell glass toothbrushes? <laughs> Hi, Wendy. Um, oh, did you? Oh, awesome. That'll go beautiful then. Okay. Um, for the people out there that are, um, Fans of the Wexford pattern, like I am, I have this gorgeous um, Wexford relish dish. This is beautiful, and it's in excellent condition. There are no cracks, no chips, just beautiful, absolute beautiful condition. And it measures eight and a half inches in diameter. It is ten dollars, number thirty six. Ten dollars, number thirty six. Pictionary. Oh my God, that game is hilarious. All right. Okay. Um, my next item is this vintage, vintage Fire King. Oh, I probably will. I probably will if I'm still awake. The funniest part about Pictionary is watching how people draw stuff. Because I'll tell you, <laughs> some people cannot draw, and me being one of them. Like, you know, it's hilarious. But anywho, we have this awesome um, primrose casserole. 
Now, the casserole is, it is still in decent condition. I mean, it has lost a lot of its shine on the bottom, um, but it's, it's still, you know, a functional piece. Now the lid, the lid has a chip. It has a chip right here. And um, here, the chip has it, the chip, the lid has chips. Um, there's a chip here. No, I'm not. I'm using my left arm. I'm using my left arm. There's a chip here. So it had the the lid has three chips in it. But the casserole has no chips at all. And it's a really good size. Um it is A one and a half quart casserole. So it is thirteen dollars and it is number fifty. No, yeah, fifty-four. Thirteen dollars number fifty-four for the Fire King Primrose casserole. Oops. All right, uh, let me just see. Okay, that did not sell. All right. Sorry guys, I got this stuck in the, the old tripod. Okay, next up I have some Hummel wannabes. <laughs> um, but these are really cute. Uh, they were made in Japan, uh, and we have this little girl. She is adorable. She's got her little watering can and her tulip. Then we have this little girl. Now, <clears throat> she has the Japan mark on the bottom where you could actually read it. The other one is really faded, but here she is. She's got her little basket and she's like daydreaming <laughs> in her little babushka. Now, the only thing with her is the color of her hair has faded but if you wanted to, you could always repaint her hair, you know. But they must have had it someplace near a window where the sun faded it. Um, this one has a little has the a little bit of the fading on the back. But these are both. Uh, let's see about eight and a half inches tall. They're eight and a half inches tall. So for the pair, they are $14, number 17. $14 for the pair, number 17. Hi, Maria. I'm sorry I missed your sale today, I was out. Nancy Owen. All right, Miss Nancy, I got you. Thank you very much. All right. Okay, so let me slide these gals over here. All right. Next, I have... I have this really beautiful vase. Um, it looks like cloisonne, but it's not. Uh, look at this vase, you guys. Isn't that beautiful? It's 
got like gold um, outlining. And it's got a gold um, rim. It's really, really pretty and it's really different. Um, <laughs> right. Um, it is seven inches tall. And it is $12, number 46. $12, number 46. Very pretty. All right. It is offer up time, guys. So if y'all want to refresh. Oh, I see Rashida for number 46. Okay, got you, Rashida. It's a gorgeous vase. Thank you. All right. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Okay, um, I did not bring out my black light today. Why? Because I forgot. You know how I am. But just take my word for it. Um, this does glow. Um, and it's beautiful. It is this gorgeous Amberina. Uh, I don't know. I guess this is probably um, a cake plate. What would you guys think? It is a cake plate. It is footed. You could put fruit on here too. Um, it's gorgeous. Um, I'm going to start offers on this at $12. And I will give you the measurements. A cake stand. That's what I thought. Uh, it is Amberina, like I said, and it does glow. It's just gorgeous. I'll get my light. Oh, yes, I do got my light. <laughs> yes, you're right, James. It's sitting right in front of me. I forgot I went to get it for the other vase. Oh, my God. I'll be all right. Well, this is, I can't even do it. I can't, <laughs> I can't show you that it glows because I can't lift my arm. Let me see if I could do it down here. You know what? It does not glow. It doesn't glow. You can see it because it. Do I don't see it glowing. I don't know. Oh, yes, it does. It glows on like the yellow maybe? No, it doesn't. It doesn't glow. The yellow is not glowing. I don't see it glowing at all. So, yeah. So if you guys wanna renege your bids, it's up to you because I don't see it glowing. Um, it's up to you guys. Um, I thought this one glowed, but apparently it's not. Yeah, I don't see it glowing. 
Yeah, and normally I can see, you know, it it's not. So if you guys still want it, um, we have a high offer of $25. So I will start counting down um, 10. I'm going to set this down, guys. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, sold. Elizabeth Hogue, okay, for $25. And Elizabeth, this was number, number 52. Thank you so much. It's a beautiful piece, even if it doesn't glow. <laughs> okay. Um, let me see here. What do I got? All right, we have, I have these here. All right, so let me... I just want to shift things and make sure that I haven't forgotten anything here. Uh, okay, this sold. I can put this over here. This sold. Um, did this sell? Uh, yes, that sold, this did not, that did not, those did not, this, this, okay, all right, I think I have everything where it needs to be for the rest of the sale, okay, uh, all right. I have pink depression glass. I love pink depression glass. And I have four pieces for you guys today. Um, I'm going to start out with this gorgeous um, footed bowl. I absolutely love this bowl. The design, look how pretty it is on the inside. It's just beautiful. Um, I don't know if they consider this like a bonbon bowl or, you know. Um, it's three and a half inches tall and it's six and a quarter inches in diameter. And it is so, so pretty. Uh, it's $10 and it's number 30. $10, number 30 for this beauty. Whoops. Oh, pickle Tink. <laughs> hey, Tink. All right, so I got you for that one. Let me find my pen here. All right, so Tink got number 30. Uh, yes. All righty. Thank you very much, ma'am. Hello, Zeba Gray. How are you today? I'm doing good. Okay, next I have this gorgeous, um, 
it's a serving bowl, I would say, you know, for vegetables or something like that. It's in fabulous condition. Uh, there's no cracks. There's no chips. Look at that pattern. It's like a, a fleur-de-lis. It's a fleur-de-lis pattern. With the rib, it's got the ribbing. It's beautiful. Um, it is six and three quarter inches in diameter. And it is two and three quarter inches tall. It's $10 and it is number 29. $10, number 29. Uh-huh. <laughs> we got Tink for 29. She loves her pink. <laughs> okay, well, wait do you see this one, Tink. You're going to lose your mind over this one. This one is the uh, cherry blossom pattern. Look at this bowl. Isn't that gorgeous? There's the bottom. You can see the cherries. <laughs> <laughs> it is just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I'll show you the handles up close. So this bowl, this would be a good mashed potato bowl. This bowl is eight and three quarter inches in diameter and it's three inches tall, and it is $12, and it's number 28. $12, number 28. Uh... <laughs> Tink, 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 tink. <laughs> oh my goodness. How funny. <laughs> you are welcome. Okay, my last pieces of pink depression are, I have a set of two of these. It has the gorgeous open lace edging. These would be perfect for um, ice cream. Definitely ice cream or, um, you know, fruit. Yeah, isn't that pretty? So again, I have a set of two and they're in excellent condition. Uh, there's no no flea bites or anything. You get the set of two of these for $8, and they are number 31. $8, number 31. These would be nice on the table. You could put like olives, olives in them, or cranberry sauce, you know, or cashews. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay, Kathleen. Hi, Kathleen. You're new to me. Um, did you um, send your information? If not, you will need to send, um, email me your, uh, your YouTube name, your real name, if it's different. 
your PayPal email address, and your mailing address and zip code. Okay, perfect. Uh, Kathleen Harrigal for the little bowls. Thank you very much. H-E-R-R-I-G-E-L. Okay, just want to make sure I spell it right. Thank you so much. All right. Um, next I have this gorgeous, look at this, you guys. I just got this from my friend Corey, and it is uh, the most, I have never seen anything so beautiful. This amazing cup and saucer. So let me just show you the cup first. Look at that. Yeah, she likes black. And then this is the saucer. Isn't this beautiful? Um, it is made by Royal Winton. Now, it does have crazing. You can see that on the back. Hey, Kevin, what's going on, buddy? Royal Winton. And it's just a beautiful set. Uh, no cracks, no chips, just crazing. It's $12, and it is number 37. $12, number 37. Oh, my nose is itching. Okay. No takers on that one. We'll put that over here. All right. Okay, so wait till you guys see this next item. You know, I wiped it off with um, with a, a wipe, and it's like smeary. Okay. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Look at this amazing plate. This is just gorgeous. It is made by Claris Ware. Um, there is the mark. You can see it's got a lot of crazing, but it is just gorgeous. This plate is eight and a half inches in diameter. It is $13, number 26. $13, number 26. number 20. Oh, there you go, Paula. You got it. <laughs> All right, Paula, where do you get this? It is so stunning. I mean, like, it's just gorgeous. Okay, Paula, number 26. Number 26. All right, next is this. Oh, this is gorgeous too. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Yay, Paula! <laughs> this is amazing. 
This is Royal Munich. Royal Munich. Uh, ZS and C Bavaria. And this measures uh, about eight and three quarter inches in diameter. It is $13, number 25. $13, number 25. Here is the mark on the back, Royal Munich. All right, Cheryl Hoskins. All right, I got you, Cheryl. Okay. Um, Paula, I don't know if you're interested in these, but I'm just going to show you. Now, they do have wear because they did get used. You know, people ate food off of them. So they do have, you know, some, you know, utensil scratches on the smaller, uh, the smaller plates. But I have this beautiful cobalt blue plate. It's got the little handles. And you might be able to see like some of the, see some of those scratches Dang it, I can't get it to show. Um, and it comes with, so my, my thinking is, this is like a cookie plate. Um, and then there's two saucers. Unfortunately, I don't have the cups. Yeah, look at these. I don't have the cups. But I have two of these that go with the large plate. And I'm saying they're cups because they do have the indentation. Um, but anyways, so you would get all three of these for $12, number 23. $12 for all three pieces number 23. And actually, you know what? You could use these for candles. You could put a big um, pillar candle in this one and then two smaller candles in these and put it um, as a centerpiece for your table. Damn, I have good ideas sometimes. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yes. So there you have it. <laughs> Anida. Okay, Anida, you got it. Thank you. Yeah, I think uh, candles would be beautiful on those in, in the middle of a table. I know. All right. Where do you guys see this plate? This is a gorgeous piece. Um, it does have a uh, sticker residue on it that I didn't see. Um, look at this plate. Is this not absolutely amazing? absolutely gorgeous it is hand painted uh prussia so let me show you where's the mark right there hand painted prussia i know isn't it beautiful I do have good ideas sometimes. Sometimes I get excited over how good my ideas are. <laughs> but it is absolutely stunning. Give you a close-up of the edges there. So this plate, 
This was probably a cake plate because of the handles. Um, it is 10 and a quarter inches in diameter. So uh, this beautiful plate is $16 and it is number 27. $16, number 27. I knew Cheryl. I knew. I knew. Yes, I did. You got it, Cheryl. That is a gorgeous piece. Way do you see it in person? You're going to have to start another wall or build another wall <laughs> for sure. All right. I have, I have one offer up left, and then I'm going to go over the stuff that didn't sell really quickly. I know. That's why I said you got to build another wall. <laughs> Or start hanging it on the ceiling. <laughs> okay. Um, I really love this book. It is in, I can't believe the condition of this book. That's why I'm, I'm selling it as an offer up item because of its condition. All right, this book MCM LV MCM LV Mary had a little lamb 1955, thank you. Uh, and this is the um, Rand McNally Storytime book. This book only has two tiny little issues. One is that little spot on the page right there. And the little spot right there because it bled through. So look at these pictures. Can I just tell you, like this book is in near mint condition. I'm starting this book at $10. I forgot to tell you, $10. <laughs> it's MCM LV. MCM LV. That's what I said. That's what I thought. 1955. Can you believe the condition of this book from 1955? I mean, it doesn't even look like it was even read. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at that. It's just amazing. I can't even believe the condition. talking about that um tink i was just saying that um 
when I found this at the store, I looked up the numbers on Google and it was 1955. I just couldn't remember. But I knew, like I couldn't believe the condition of it from being from 1955. It's crazy. But the whole book is, is in this condition. All right, so I guess I'm going to count down. Uh, look at the back. <laughs> okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Sold. All right. Mm. Okay, sold to Kathleen for $15. Thank you, Kathleen. And this was number 56. All right, Kathleen. Thank you very much. That that book is amazing. I couldn't believe it. All right, guys. Um, unfortunately, I had a lot of items that did not sell today. So I'm going to try to zip through really quick so I can get off of here. Because I've been on here for uh, three and a half hours. So let me start with, uh, let's start with this. Um, this gorgeous creamer and sugar set. Absolutely gorgeous. Perfect condition. No cracks, no chips. Very thick. Beautiful set. Crystal clear. $12, number 15. $12, number 15. Next is this gorgeous green banana banana bowl, I guess, or dish with the opalescent edges. And there's no glow on the edges. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is $14, number 10. $14, number 10. We have this gorgeous Wexford. Oh, number 10. Diane. Diane Carter. I see for number 10. Thank you, Diane. Let me just mark you down right quick. All right. Thank you very much, Diane. Okay. Uh, my next piece is, I just want to make sure it didn't sell because, okay. This gorgeous um, American bisque planter, uh, mid-century modern, gorgeous um, gold spatter effect with the green inside. I absolutely love this. You got this one, Rashida? Isn't it gorgeous? Um, this one is $12, number 40. 
$12, number 40. Next, I have this Talavera Pottery Spoon Rest. Oh, Rashida, are you going to have a matching pair? <laughs> there you go. Oh, you got it for me today. Oh, how come I don't have you written down? I'm sorry. How did I not write that down? I'm sorry, doll. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> See, I told you I was getting confused because I've got stuff everywhere. So, all right, let me put this someplace. <laughs> all right. All right, so that sold, so that can go there. All right, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> um, I have this Talavera spoon rest. It is marked Talavera. It has uh, been signed and it says Mexico. It does have some two chips on the bottom, but that doesn't interfere with the use of this. <laughs> right, Peterson? <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm out of remission. <laughs> um, this gorgeous spoon rest is $14 and it is number 60. $14, number 60 for the spoon rest. <laughs> Boy, ain't that the truth. All right, hold on, guys. My Kleenex is stuck under my tripod. All right. Uh, next I have the Pimpernel set of the four, four placemats and the six matching coasters. Uh, these were $25 for the set, number 50. And this is what the set looks like. They both match. That is the set. Like, excellent condition. Okay. Then I had the Carnival Glass Flower Frog. It has a chip, like a sliver, like a little sliver out of the bottom right there. I don't know if you can see that. If I show it this way, there it is. Uh, this was $12, number 11. I could go down to $10 on this if anybody's interested. I know, because of this stupid thing. I know. And then when I took this off, everybody yelled at me. Put that back on! <laughs> yes, Mom! <laughs> okay, so Jeffrey Ross, uh, I will give that to you for $10. Uh, Ten dollars for Jeffrey Ross. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yes, you did. Okay. Next, I have this beautiful um, early American pressed glass vase. It's absolutely gorgeous. This was $12, number 49, $12, number 49. This um, RS Prussia, or is it Germany? I never can remember. RS Germany, oh, Elizabeth wants number 49. 
Okay, you got it, Elizabeth. That's a gorgeous face. No cracks, no chips, nothing. Um, all right. Thank you. This is RS Germany. This is a beautiful little toothpick holder, I'm assuming. It is just beautiful. No cracks, no chips. It is $8, number seven. $8, number seven. You are welcome, Elizabeth. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Oh, Cheryl wants that one. Okay, I got you, Cheryl. Thank you. All right, Miss Cheryl. Um, then I have this, um, there's 11 um, spoons here from all different places. Um, you get the whole, the whole bag of spoons for uh, $12, number 58. Uh, there's Colorado, there's Disneyland, there's Georgia. A um, bunch of places. I'm going to put this over here because that is sold. All right. I have this beautiful brooch. Um, the little um, the little thing where the pin goes in and you flip it down. It just needs to be tightened. Um, it's this gorgeous brooch. Absolutely beautiful. This is um, $15, number 33. $15, number 33. <laughs> Oh, Elizabeth, okay. Elizabeth, I will try and tighten that little, um, the little thing there for you. Number 33. Okay, and I do have another brooch. Um, this is gorgeous. It is missing one stone. Um, you can see the stone is missing right here, unfortunately, but it's still gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, this brooch is $15 as well, number 34. $15, number 34. Oh, Lee. Oh, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Okay. All right. Thank you again. Uh, next, I have this gorgeous. I know, I I know, I do too. I have, trust me, I have a little collection of my own going on. And it's very hard for me to not keep the ones I find. <laughs> this beautiful cup and saucer. Um, it is made by Royal Winton. And this cup and saucer is, I'll go down to $10 for this. Number 37, $10, number 37. Zen, all right, you got it there, Zen. Thank you, sir. Uh, let's see. I had this, um, the Fire King Primrose Casserole Dish. Uh, it's a one and a half quart. 
Uh, the casserole dish itself is in good condition. The lid does have a few chips on the inside. Um, so this is $13, number 54. Um, I will go down to $11 for this if anyone's interested. $11, number 54. It's a nice casserole dish. Um, I think that is everything. Yeah, I think that is everything. I think I did that pretty quick. <laughs> uh, we did the relish dish, the pimpernel set, the spoon lot, um, the creamer in the sugar. Oh, and Rashida, she got the Royal Copley. All right, thanks there, uh, Peterson. And you know what? You did fabulous today. Thank you so much for helping me. And Miss Virginia and Soul Nate. Um, so um, let me just reiterate really quick to everybody because a lot of people came in later that starting on August 13th, which is a Friday, so for the next four Fridays, I'm going to be doing pop-up sales at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Um, I will be doing a jewelry pop-up sale, a linen sale, um, a book sale, and a barware sale. You did, Tink! <laughs> So just keep that in mind that for the next um, four Fridays at 11 a.m., four weeks in a row. So, um, but I will post um, a little notification in the community tab on my YouTube page and also on Instagram. So, uh, yes, that is it, everyone. Um, I cannot thank you guys enough for coming today. I Oh, Effie wants number 54. What's number 54? Oh, the casserole for $11. Okay. I got you, Effie. $11. All right. You got it, sweetheart. Thank you. Um, so, yes. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming today. I really appreciate it. Thank you to everyone who purchased items, who bid on items, who just came in and chatted and gave me a thumbs up. I really, really appreciate it very, very much. Um, so I don't know what's going on for the rest of the evening. I'm assuming Trisha will still have her sale at 10. And I guess Katie is going to have a uh, chat and Pictionary um, at 8 o'clock in place of Pamela's sale. So, um, yeah. Thank you very much, Jan. So, you guys have a great rest of your weekend. And I will see you uh, in the next sale. <laughs> Bye, guys.